Second question. Once in orbit above the Earth's atmosphere, the engines on a space rocket are switched off. Which row of the table correctly states the resulting motion of the rocket and the law explaining this motion? Since a rocket is in a circular motion, velocity of the rocket is changing due to the change in direction of it. According to Newton's second law, a resultant force must be present in order to change the velocity of an object. In this situation, gravity or gravitational attractive force on the rocket by the Earth act as the resultant force. Let's look at the Newton's second law. Resultant force acting on any object is directly proportional to the rate of change of momentum of the object. object. Momentum of an object is defined as the product of mass and the velocity. Therefore, if the velocity of an object changes, momentum also change. So in this question, correct answer must be answer C, where motion of the rocket has a changing velocity and it can be explained by the Newton's second law.